Today is June the 26th, 2013, and here is a very interesting item I picked up yesterday. This is an HP Audio Signal Generator Model 205AG. This is one serious oscillator. 20 to 20 kilohertz. And uh, what's amazing about it, it this thing's beautiful. These things are built like tanks, to say the least. Let me get around here behind it. It's got uh, the old 5U4 there. I've got a couple of new tubes in it. Uh, 6L6 is for output. Why well, I call this one serious oscillator, this thing will put out an incredible amount of power for an oscillator. Let me show you. Let me show you the schematic, first of all. Here's a schematic right here to it. Have to look at it sideways here. Let's see, there's its output right there. Six L sixes into a uh, transformer. You know, with a monitoring meter up here and an impedance matching transformer right here. Six L sixes there. Output. Well, I discovered after playing with this thing, I discovered pretty quick. I want to show you the voltage this thing will put out. Okay, I've got it on uh, 200 hertz right there. See, because I got it uh, times one. I've got it on 5,000 ohm. I got the load on, on 5,000 ohms. I'm going to start running the, the, all the attenuators are set at zero. I'm going to start running the amplitude up and watch the voltage right here. So right there it's in millivolts. Watch this. I'm going to crank it all the way up. 194 volts with the load on. If I take the load off, 228 volts. I've disconnected everything else with the maximum voltage on my um, distortion analyzer is 300 volts peak. 228 volts. Everything else is disconnected. They don't want to fry it. After the load off, load on. That's the 5000 ohm. There's 600 ohm, 65 volts across 600 ohms. What is this, 200? Yeah, it's got a 200 ohm load, 40 volts across 200 ohms, and 19.6 uh, volts across 50 ohms. And that's with the load on. If I take it off, like I said, it soars up to 226 volts, 78 volts, 45 volts and uh, 22 volts. If you take this number right here, that make that 200 squared. 200 squared divided by 5,000 ohms is 8 watts. This thing is a. This thing is serious. This is an old HP 205AG. Quite an oscillator. It's got an input attenuator too, but I guess that's in case you want to measure something coming in. It's separate from the uh, output, so it's got amplitude adjust. Everything seems to work pretty good. There's the output meter. Let's try it at 20, 20 kilohertz. Okay, there's 200 times 1,000, so that's 20 kilohertz. Run it all the way up again. See, there's our voltage again with the load on. The load off, 300 volts. Wow. And if I run the voltage down until you know, it's something that's not going to destroy my equipment. Say like there. 14 volts. And hook the distortion analyzer back up. Here's its distortion. 0.17. Pretty darn good. This thing is amazing. This thing dangerous. 0.17% at 20 kilohertz. Uh, 200 hertz. 0.2%, and it's at that point as far as high as I dare measure it, and at 200 hertz, 0.25%, let's see, run it down to 20 hertz, it's not at 20, yeah, I can actually hook this, kind of, I can hook everything back up here so we can actually see the frequencies and everything, there it is, it's actually down to 17 hertz, 
Distortion is a half percent, still at 12 volts. Put it back up to 20. It's 20, half percent. 200. 200 hertz, 0.2 percent, 12 volts. And 2 kilohertz. 0.2%, 12 volts, very steady. What a machine. I tell you, they built them right back in those days. Let me see if I can show you underneath this thing. It's, it's gorgeous. And it is also very heavy. I don't know if I can do this one hand or not. Yeah, I guess I can. Yeah. There we go. It's got two chokes on the power supply. It's got uh, <clears throat> these capacitors over here for oil. It's only got one electrolytic that I can even see in there that might need to be changed. Got the nice AB pots, Allen Bradley pots, nice switches. Absolutely beautiful. Anyway, thought you might be interested. I've never seen an oscillator, a audio signal generator that puts out that much voltage and power. Pretty amazing. Got to show you a couple more things about this thing. Got some hooks up here at the front, here and here, and then these screws you got to take loose at the bottom to get the to get the cover back on. I lay it on its back. This thing is a monster to get back together. So if you ever buy one of these, you you do want to know how to take it apart. And here's the beast back together in all its glory. Actually, in quite nice shape show you the back it's in good shape too but it's just so darn heavy and I've also got it hooked up to uh, an old vintage scope that I picked up and turn off the lights here that'll help a little bit there it is this is an old uh, 535a it's got a, uh, a switchable channel input I got a, a CA plug-in and the one down there but anyway there's a nice nice trace there I know it doesn't take much to overwhelm the camera on a uh, on an old scope or the, the trace that take much to overwhelm the camera so there it is very nice the scope had a pretty big problem it had a lot of AC hum in it it had three bad uh, electrolytic capacitors in it so I fixed that last night and got the trace down it's actually uh, working quite good the uh, time base and the vertical deflection are within calibration you might say and uh, works quite good I love this old stuff a lot of fun to work with just got some absolutely st stunning uh, tubes in it most of them are still original one thing it's got that's really ugly is that handle I'm not sure what to do about that anyway that's it that's the uh, audio signal generator 205 AG from HP hope you hope you enjoy As an extra weird contraption that I picked up along with uh, the big HP uh, signal generator is this, um, it's called a Polarad, uh, Polarad, uh, I see, uh, TSA-W, there's actually manuals for this thing out on the, uh, out on eBay. I got it this far. I didn't expect it to work at all. This thing has got 807s in it over here, if you can see them. I know it's kind of dark out here. Got a pair of 807s right there. One of them was busted. The top was busted off. I just put, that's all I've done to it. I've blown some dust out and put a new 807 in and it's, it almost seems like it wants to work. Um, this thing goes from 900 megahertz to 4.5 gigahertz. This tuning unit down here. I'll probably play with it a little bit. Some of the knobs are kind of hard. Some are not too bad. And this darn thing must weigh 100 plus pounds. I think his camera does a pretty good job at the dark. Little voltage regulators down there. I can't believe this thing has actually even got a trace on it. It's got three huge transformers in it.
lit. The voltage regulator tubes in there are lit. Eight oh seven. I can't see those five R fours lit right there, but apparently they are. They're hot, and uh, we've got a trace. It says danger high voltage, and inside I can see a tube glowing. It must be a voltage regulator. Um, doesn't have any covers. I got it for a song, so. I'm not planning on parting it out yet. God knows what I'm going to do with it. But just the fact that it works and all the knobs on the front seem to respond quite well. So there you go. If you like weird instruments, it looks like I have run across some real jewels lately.